Hey guys, it's me, Pooja723, and I officially have the Viz Media Sailor Moon Crystal Season 1. They're calling this Season 1 for some reason, even though the Black Moon arc was part of Season 1, but okay. But this is the official Sailor Moon Crystal Season 1 release. This is the official Blu-ray and DVD release, and down here it says Set 1, Dark Kingdom arc. And this cover art is officially from the Japanese Blu-ray set. Of course, the Japanese set is always bigger. I mean, I don't really have the Japanese release because it was a lot of money to import the official Japanese Blu-ray and DVD release from Japan to here. So I just had to wait it out and wait for the Sailor Moon Crystal official, you know, Viz Media English release. And this is dubbed and subbed by the same, you know, voice actors from Viz Media, not the Deke dub. There is no Deke dub in here. So, I don't know, I guess some nostalgia fans will be kind of disappointed, but this is how it is now. And like I said, this is the official Japanese art that they chose for this Blu-ray set. And this is officially, you know, they're calling the season one. And this is Sailor Moon Crystal, there's Blu-ray, there's some nice postcards, and there is the booklet. And this is the back of it, it says Sailor Moon Crystal. It says includes an 88 booklet and seven art cards. The art cards are the other promo Blu-ray cover arts from the official Japanese release. And it says the pretty guardian of love and justice for a new generation, I guess. Even though us old school Sailor Moon fans are still watching the show and there's Sailor Moon. And this is the synopsis of the show, which is basically the same as season officially from season one. And here are some stills from the show. Hopefully with better animation this time, I hope. But most likely it probably is the same as the Japanese Blu-ray. And it says four discs, Dark Kingdom arc, 1080 HP, English and Japanese subtitle, English and Japanese audio, English subs, introducing Sailor Moon Crystal interview with the English cast. Uh, of course, we get um, clean, textless opening and ending songs, and there's an art gallery. And this is just a slipcase. It just comes off. This is officially what the back of the Blu-ray box looks like. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the outside of the box. So now I'll show you guys what the inside of the box looks like. Here is the official Blu-ray box and what it looks like. They're using the official, you know, Japanese art that was used for the Japanese release. And this is the booklet with interviews, images of, you know, art, all that good stuff. I guess I can show you guys a few pages with using one hand. I guess I can't. Yeah, it has like art from entirely season one. Yeah, all the art and, you know, interviews and character quotes, all that awesome stuff. So, okay, let's open this up. On the back of this Blu-ray box is a uh, silhouette of Sailor Moon and the moon from the uh, Moon Pride opening. Kind of odd that it's just her and not the others with her, but whatever. And this is the official Blu-ray. Um, it's the same as the official Japanese release. I think all the discs in here, they're all the same from the official Japanese release. And there's part two. And these are the DVDs. I don't know. I kind of like the uh, DVD, the way they're designed than the Blu-rays, but that's just my opinion. And there's nothing in there. This is blank. Let me close this up. Here's the back of this, which is the same as the Blu-ray slipcase. It has all that, you know, the same information, the subtitles, interviews. There's TV rating on there. And all the legal mumbo jumbo that comes with all Blu-rays. So yeah. Okay, enough about this. I'll show you um, the exclusive goodies that I got since I got this from Right Stuff. I was able to get a quote-unquote gift and extra stuff that came with this set, so I'll show it to you guys right now.
Okay, since I ordered this on Right Stuff, I was able to get an official gift, which is a stained glass image of all the five inner senshi. And I thought this was actually going to be a lot bigger, and I'm kind of disappointed that it's not, but still, this is very nice. It's a nice gift. But I just wish this was a lot bigger. There's Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Jupiter, and the thing just fell. Sailor Mars, Sailor Venus, and Sailor Jupiter. But yeah, I mean, this is, it's cute. It's nice. I just wish it was a lot bigger. This is the only thing that kind of disappoints me. And it, it fits in the palm of my hand, like one of the compacts, but I just wish this was a little bigger because, I mean, if I hang this on my windows and my windows are huge, nobody can see this. So it's like, it's kind of disappointing that, you know, this is very tiny, but it's still nice. It's a nice gift. And over here are the official postcards, which are from the Japanese Blu-ray cover art. Like each, because in Japan, when Sailor Moon Crystal came out, they were selling them individually like it was like four episodes or three episodes a blu-ray set like a blu-ray disc so these are the art cards that came with it this is sailor moon sailor mercury sailor mars sailor jupiter sailor venus Usagi and Mamoru, or Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask, but she's not transformed, so it's technically Usagi. There's Princess Serenity, and the back of each art is like this, and it has a number with the, it has a number of how many, you know, postcards there are, but this is really nice. I do like that they actually took the time and effort to give us art cards from the original Japanese Blu-ray set. So that's not disappointing to me at all because I would have been extremely, extremely disappointed if, you know, we didn't get these beautiful art works. I mean, some, you know, if you're a hardcore Sailor Moon fan, you could definitely, definitely frame these. So what can I say about this official Sailor Moon Crystal season one, season one that they're calling this now? Um. Well, for the most part, I'm happy that we have this as an official release. You know, it's great to see this officially released here in the States and worldwide. Besides Japan, because Japan freaking gets everything. And yeah, but the only thing that I'm complaining about is the price. I mean, official retail price for this is $74. For 14 episodes, $74. And I think that's a lot of money. But since I got this from Right Stuff, I paid about $62 and I got this cute little gift. I mean, it's cute, like I said, but I wish it was just a little bigger. But um, yeah, that's the only, my only complaint that is that this is really, really expensive for a 14 episode anime Blu-ray set. And like I said, you know, the postcards are nice. I'm happy that they're using the official Japanese art for the box set and everything. I just wish this wasn't as expensive and I'm assuming for the Black Moon arc they'll probably do the same thing and then season 3 will be the same. At least it's not as bad as, you know, the 90s version where you have to get part 1 and part 2 and that just, you know, you just have to shell out more money from your wallet. At least they're not doing this with Sailor Moon Crystal. So they're kind of learning but the price is still a lot. But that's just my overall opinion. Unfortunately, you guys, I can't show you what's in the Blu-ray. Like, I can't play it because, you know, copyright and YouTube are both a pain in the butt. So I can't really show you guys what's in the disc, in the discs. So unfortunately, I can't show you guys anything, but I'm sure some people on YouTube will take that risk and uh, they'll show you guys what's inside the discs and how the quality is and everything. But yeah, that's my overall review of the official Sailor Moon Crystal Season 1, the Dark Moon Arc Saga, Blu-ray DVD combo pack set from Viz Media. And, I'll ha and I hope you guys subscribe, share, like, and you know, 
all that awesome good YouTube stuff. And I'll have another video up soon. Bye.